It's 7.26, and I'm not quite up early, but not up late, and, um, should be able to get a good move on today, and not have to stretch, um, too much into tiny space of time. Seeing this number on the scale again, 143 is kind of driving it home like it didn't really feel real before, but it's starting to. It's 1049 and I am actually back at the school to pick up my kiddo and um, the elementary school because testing. So it's a fairly comfortable temperature, got the sunroof open. Um, though it could start sprinkling any time, I suppose. So long as I won't remember to close it up, I don't think it's gonna matter. I um, don't know much about, uh, having a car with a sunroof, except that they, they tend to leak, so, um, trying to, uh, get used to that. Um, I dropped him off shortly before nine, ran back to the house, chugging my breakfast shake and then I got some cleaning done in the kitchen that uh, has been put off for too long and my oldest is at home still uh, plugging away on his schoolwork and my hands are getting all dried out from the water but um, that's all right We've got this one counter that kind of gets ignored a lot, so that's the one I worked on. I got some, got the trash taken out, got some stuff off the kitchen table. I don't know how anybody goes without keeping a pile of stuff on their kitchen table. But every now and again you need to, you know, pare it down. Because everything winds up there. <sighs> okay, I got about uh, ten more minutes to wait. Now, one of the things that uh, I was real clear about when shopping for this car is I wanted to be comfortable waiting because sports and scouts and stuff, I do a lot of waiting. After getting home, I didn't really feel hungry until my dad came into the kitchen and started making his own lunch. Now, he uses Thousand Island dressing, but I am a big fan of ranch, and so this is what my lunch turned out to be. And really, that's not bad, and uh, it was very filling. But I forgot to take a picture of it because I just kind of scarfed it. After a small errand in the afternoon, the check engine light came on in the vehicle that we just got. So I got this thing out of my dad's truck. It's uh, for reading engine check engine light codes and plugged it in. Then I took this photo and sent it to my dad so that he can look exactly what uh, issue this is going to be for this particular vehicle. It's probably nothing major, but we plan to handle it this weekend. I forgot to put a time on this photo, but this is a keto baked pork chop using pork panko crumbs, which is pork rinds, parmesan cheese, in both in the breading and on top, and also some green beans my dad wanted to try, which had bacon and parmesan cheese in them as well. So it paired well, and there was Italian spices in the breading, which wasn't actually breading. Now this didn't quite do it. I did have to have a second shake today and I filled out an extra 100 calories with a little bit of keto uh, friendly chocolate. It's just before midnight. I realized I didn't even show you my outfit today. Frankly, this is a very old maternity shirt. Excuse me, flashing my bra strap here. An old maternity shirt. There's a little bit of a scrunchy, buttony detail. And pretty soon I think this thing is going to leave my um, wardrobe, like, permanently, finally. Pretty much everything else I've got that I used to have when I was pregnant with my kids is gone. Um, so, this afternoon's errand, um, we had to run out for something, I forget what it was. Anyway, we were at a store, and, um, I, I need belts. We are at the point where my pants are becoming a disaster for European folks trousers okay I, I'm using the American vernacular here of my blue jeans will not stay up okay and I'm very hesitant to buy anything just yet I mean aside from that one pair of jeans because I'm going to continue to lose weight and I don't know what size I'm gonna be when I'm ready to 
work up to maintenance calories, which I'm actually kind of dreading because it's hard enough to hit my deficit goal of the 11.89. And I'm like, am I going to have to be chugging diet shakes five times a day to keep this up? I don't want to do that. So I'm probably just going to have to add back carbs until I hit a comfortable maintenance level. I know a lot more about this stuff than I used to, so this should be maintainable for me since I should be eating this way anyway, being myself on a schedule like a dog because I have issues with hunger, which is that I don't feel it when I'm supposed to. Anyway, um, so I'm desperate for belts, right? And my son and I, after he picked out some Legos, this is my youngest I'm talking about, of course. I, I don't know why, but I talk about him a lot more than my oldest. Uh, we ran out and he had picked out a set of Legos for, with some spending money and I'm like, I gotta have some belts. So we ran over to the ladies section and I found these three belts which um, had been marked down from this set being $12. It's marked down to three. It's got these little silver buckles on it. So it's three bucks. That's a buck a belt. And now they are extra large length, um, but I have leather working tools and a little bit of know-how and I can bring these down. Um, the black and red ones both have holes the whole length, which is great. And then this plaid looking one, I, I have drill bits. I've got uh, awls, uh, A W. LS that is um, a leather working tool for punching a hole and so um, we're gonna just have a minute I'm gonna cut the, these down and make them fit me and just kind of like round the ends maybe put uh, use a little bit of an acrylic paint or uh, a wood burning tool to kind of seal them up I don't think they're leather maybe they're plastic I would probably go with the paint rather than trying to seal it up um, there's one more thing. I know this didn't show very well in the car clip earlier. I feel like I'm seeing some face gains. And I saw a thing recently where uh, someone said that should be the opposite because you're losing. But I really feel like the bottom half of my face is looking thinner. And I don't think it's just the acne. I am still, you know, working on my skincare stuff. Uh, one of my blemish scabs came off. A little bitty lump next to my eye has been really difficult to try to get in there with a little home electrolysis tool. And of course, I wasn't wearing makeup today, so what you saw in the sunlight in the car clip earlier in the video, that's me. Um, this is me too, but this is me with moisturizer. <sighs> So, there we go. I had a fun day. I, was, I feel like today was active, like I actually accomplished some things today. But I will admit that I am still looking forward to my kids going to their dad's this weekend. And maybe I'll rest and maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, housework, crafting, relaxing... I'm feeling a little bit wired. I'll admit I did need my medications yesterday, but I didn't today, so that's good. Um, it also depends on which medication I'm talking about because I'm on several. I mean, the allergy meds, the asthma meds, that's daily. I'm talking about the pain medications, of which I have two. One is more dangerous and one is, one is more loopy making. <sighs> that is a lot. Uh, for the little amount of medical information I put on this channel. But if you ever want to check that out, um, go to, I'm going to put it right up here. Sarah likes that also on YouTube um, because that is my old channel where I would upload things about my birth defects, about my health issues. Okay, um, this is long enough. I think if I talk your ear off, you're going to get bored. Thank you for sharing my date with me.